The North African White Rhino by Brandon Koo. The North African White Rhino is the second largest land mammal in the world after the elephant. The average male body length from head to tail is around 14 feet and average height is around 6 feet. Females are still massive at an average length of 11 and a half feet and height of 5 and a half feet. Some white rhinoceros can weigh up to 4 tons and an individual horn can be up to 6 feet long. Each white rhinoceros has two horns that grow at a rate of one inch per year. That may not sound like a lot, but if you take into consideration that the average lifespan of a white rhino is 45 years, that's double the height of a toddler. Despite their name, the white rhino is actually gray. The name white comes from a mistranslation from Afrikaans. In Afrikaans, wide, meaning wide in English, was given name of the rhino because of its wide lips. The white rhino has these squared lips because it's a grazer, and it eats the shorter grasses available. Wide lips helps the rhino eat lots of grass in one bite to conserve energy when eating. Other adaptations to help the animal when eating is its low hanging head and added neck muscle. The rhino has a pronounced hump along the neck that is made up of a mass of muscle needed in order to lift its head. The white rhino also has a keen sense of smell and rotating ears, which help in locating predators since their eyesight is poor. There are only five species of rhino left in the world. The white, black, greater horned, Sumatran, and Javan rhino. The black and white rhinoceros are from Africa but the North African white rhino has been dispersed and now lives in multiple preserves due to the species being at the brink of extinction, with four left in the entire world, three of which live in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and one of which lives in a zoo in San Diego. The Javan rhino lives in Java, Indonesia. The Sumatran rhino also lives in Indonesia, but also in Malaysia. The greater horned rhino resides in India and Nepal. The white rhinoceros prefers to live in the plains and occasionally the swampy regions of Africa because there is so much grass on the African plains, Serengeti, and Savannah, the white rhinos have an easy access to food. As an adult rhinoceros, the white rhino has now no natural predators except for the poachers. Thus, they rarely have to be cautious and are quite docile. Because of their major advantage in size, the white rhino doesn't often require camouflage. The African plains only have two main seasons, rainy and dry. The rainy season occurs from May to November and brings approximately 15 to 25 inches of rain per month. Because of the vast amount of vegetation, Breeding occurs during this season. The average temperature during the rainy season is around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The dry season occurs from October to March. Only 4 inches of rain per month is expected during this period. The intense heat and little precipitation causes the rivers to dry up and plants to die. During this season, the temperature remains about 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Northern Africa has many types of plants and animals, such as elephants, aardvarks, hares, wild dogs, wild cats, bats, buffalo, apes, and many deer-like animals. Despite the amount of food they consume, the white rhino helps shape the ecosystem by increasing plant diversity and providing grazing patches for other animals. They maintain the grasslands on which countless others depend. Scientists did a study on whether or not white rhinos had an impact on the grasslands on which they grazed, and found that places where the fewest rhinos had lived, 60-80% less grass cover than the places where rhinos frequently gathered. The rhino-inhabited areas also had about 20 times more grazing lawns or patches where specific grass grows that are prime eating for not only rhinos but also smaller animals like zebra, gazelle, and antelope. The white rhino interacts with other animals in a multitude of ways, some of which are similar to humans. 
the most vital form of communication with rhino is scent. The rhinos rely on their sense of smell quite extensively since it's so finely tuned. The olfactory area of their brain is the largest, indicating how important it is. The spraying of feces and urine, therefore, is a common means of communi communicating with other rhinos to establish ownership of personal territory or the presence of another rhino at a watering hole or popular feeding area. One form of communication that is used that is similar to humans is the use of vocalization. When rhinos encounter one another, they will use their vocal sounds to communicate. Within its vocalizations, there's a number of different sounds which are used in different situations and to convey different messages. These sounds include squeals, snorts, moos, growls, and even a trumpet sound. Screaming indicates fright, terror, or an urgent appeal to, for the calf to get to safety. Panting is used to indicate to other rhinos that they need to join up, particularly in the face of danger. It is also used by the mother to call a calf. The speed and pattern of the panting is integral to the rhinos conveying different messages. Rhinos also use sounds that are below the range of human hearing, that can be heard up to 12 miles away. Another human-like form of communication is body language. Some forms of body language may include the flattening of ears to warn another animal off, rubbing of sides with another rhino as a sign of affection, or bashing their heads into bushes as in the case of bulls showing aggression. Curiosity is indicated by erect ears and tails, while calves might swing their heads and invite others to play with them. One animal that the white rhino, as well as the black rhinos, must communicate with is the oxpecker, or tick bird. In Swahili, the oxpecker is called Askari wa Kifaru, which means the rhino's guard. The oxpecker eats ticks and other insects that it finds on the rhino, and creates a commotion when it senses danger. This helps alert the rhino. Every two and a half to five years, a female rhino will reproduce. Females carry their young for a gestation period of 15 to 16 months. They usually only have one baby at a time, though they do sometimes have twins. At birth, baby rhinos, which are called calves, are still quite big at 88 to 140 pounds. The father of the calf usually leaves the female rhino almost immediately after sexual intercourse, and the mother is left to care for the calf for up to three years. The North African white rhino was listed critically endangered in the late 19th century. Due to uncontrolled hunting in the colonial area, there was a major decline in the number of white rhinos. Today, poaching for their home is the main threat. The white rhino is particularly vulnerable to poaching because it's relatively unaggressive and lives in herds. The poachers sell the horns in the black market to people who believe that the horn has magical or medicinal qualities. But of course, because the horn is made of kerosene, those medicines would have the same effect as trimming your hair or nails. Some people regarded the horn as a symbol of sexual power of the rhino. Some folk folklore and legends depict the rhino as being stupid, lazy, and easily fooled, trying to bully others with its size as an advantage. Nowadays, there are armed guards that protect some of the North African white rhinos and some preser preservations and conservations, specifically for keeping the rhinos alive and safe. There are many eggs and sperm that have been stored in frozen zoos from the current population of North African white rhinos to preserve them until they can finally be revived. Scientists use liquid nitrogen to freeze the reproductive cells for the future use when the technology needed is finally produced.